Hello photographers, with Adobe finally pulling the plug on Lightroom as a standalone piece of software, many photographers are now looking for an alternative because they don't want to subscribe and pay monthly for Lightroom. And with that in mind, I've got a bunch of different options here for you to consider. All of these are options that are available on Mac and Windows with one exception, and all of these you can purchase for one single price and own the software. So we're gonna start at the very top with the one that I would choose if I had to move away from Lightroom, and that is Capture One from Phase One. The single purchase price is $299, which is equal to two and a half years of Lightroom CC at $9.99. And with Capture One, you can edit and organize your images. And many photographers already use Capture One because they prefer Capture One's raw processing and the look that they get from their images versus Lightroom's raw processing. Now, I downloaded all of these pieces of software and did a small test of all of them, as you can see from the video that's playing here, to give you an idea of what Capture One is like. And generally speaking, like I said, I would choose Capture One if I had to make a choice outside of Lightroom, but there were things that I didn't like about it. Number one, though it felt like the most refined of all of these software options, there were some things about it that I felt were very clunky. I did not like the fact that I couldn't find a lot of keyboard shortcuts, uh, which was frustrating for me. And I actually didn't like the raw processing as much as I like Lightroom's. Now that's not to say that it was bad, but I liked how my image looked coming out of Lightroom better than it looked coming out of Capture One. Now a note on how I tested this. These are not thorough tests. I downloaded all of these pieces of software today using their trials and I messed around with them for about 10 or 15 minutes each and I edited one image, the same image in every piece of software so I could do a comparison. You can see all of those images at this link which is my Flickr and you can pixel peep them so you can compare them for yourself. With that in mind, moving on, the next one was DxO Optics Pro. Now you might have heard of DxO because they are the company that rates cameras. They also sell raw processing software for $129, which is equivalent to one year plus one month of Lightroom CC at $9.99 a month. Like Capture One and Lightroom, you can both edit and organize with this software. I felt that DxO had a pretty nice interface. As you can see here, the organization is just an overlay for your folder structure, so there's no catalog file or anything like that. I felt like, generally speaking, the layout was similar to Lightroom, which was nice. It was very easy for me to get in there and start working and editing an image without having to think too hard or figure out like how does this software work. I liked the raw processing generally. Um, I thought the colors were good and the tools and using them was good, but I, I didn't like the details of the image. And my feeling is that I might have over sharpened the image, but what I did for each one of these when I edited the image, I didn't do anything special. I just edited the image as if I was using Lightroom, using the different tools until I was happy with the way it looked. Then I exported the image as a full-size JPEG and compared them all. And with DxO Optics, the details look really janky. The next option is On One Photo Raw, which costs $119.99, which is equal to one year of Lightroom CC at $9.99. And again, with On One, you can edit and organize. It offers layer support, which is kind of cool. You can do round-trip editing, which you can also do with Capture One and with DxO Optics. It's got good raw processing tools. I felt like generally the software was a bit rough around the edges, which makes sense because this is pretty new software. This on one photo raw was just released a year or two ago. Again, I felt the interface was similar enough to Lightroom that I was able to pretty easily get in there, get to my images and start editing them. One of the things I really liked about on one was that the keyboard shortcuts were there. They weren't exactly the same as Lightroom, which I wouldn't expect, but it was very easy for me to do things in on one using the keyboard shortcuts that I am accustomed to using in Lightroom. And that is rare amongst these options that we're talking about here. So if you like the keyboard shortcuts, you might want to consider on one. Now the next option is Alien Skins Exposure X3. This costs $149, which is equal to one and a quarter years of the Lightroom CC plan. And with this, again, you can edit and organize. You get round trip editing with external editors, which is great. They also have layer support. And I like this interface. This was my second favorite interface to work in 
after Capture One as far as how things looked and moving around the interface. Alien Skin also doesn't use a catalog file, they just give you an interface to manage your files and folders. The thing though with Alien Skin's Exposure X3 is I did not like the raw processing at all. You got soft, mushy details, and in my opinion, you got pretty weak color. Now this next option, I'm listing here not because I want you to consider it, because I want you to strike it off your list if you're thinking about using it. It's Corel's Aftershot Pro 3. It's inexpensive software at $54.99 a month, which is equal to six months of Lightroom. And it had an okay interface, which again is similar to Lightroom, also uses a catalog file like Lightroom. But the big problem for me, at least, with Corel's Aftershot Pro 3 was the terrible raw processing. Again, bear in mind that I only edited one image with this and then compared that same image across all of these pieces of software. But based on that one image, I didn't like their raw processing at all. I got awful color noise throughout the entirety of the image. There were mushy details in it and the color I thought was just not very good. It just, I just didn't like how my raw file looked at all after the edit. The next one that I actually did like is ACDC. And we're not talking about dirty deeds done dirt cheap here. This is A-C-D-S-E-E. And this offers three levels of software. And this is one of the nice things. Number one, if you just want an organizer software, you can pay $59.99 for just the ability to organize your images, have a front end interface with that. But most of us want editing and organizing, which means you would wanna go with the $99.99 option that ACDC offers, which is equal to 10 months of the Lightroom CC plan. It gives you a nice interface, again, no catalog, file here just folder and file structure inside of the program that you can work with the interface is also similar to Lightroom the raw processing was decent I didn't think it was great the details in it were okay the highlight recovery didn't work very well at all and the colors were okay the note here is that ACDC is available for Windows and is available as a free beta for Mac right now. When it comes out of beta, it will be paid software for Mac as well. But right now you can download that beta and work with it for free if you want. Now that brings us to the end of the options that you have as far as software goes where you can both edit and organize your images. The next two options are raw processing software only which means if you wanted to organize, you might need to pick up something like ACDC's Organizer for $59.99. The first one is Affinity Photo, and you might already be familiar with Affinity Photo. It costs $49.99, which is equal to five months of the Lightroom CC plan. And Affinity Photo is not really a Lightroom competitor. It's actually a Photoshop competitor. It offers raw processing via a camera raw-like plugin, so similar to the way that Photoshop handles your raw. And then you can actually edit your images in a Photoshop-like editor. So it is really a Photoshop competitor that would pair well with something like ACDC's Organizer or the organizer that Affinity says they are working on but has not been released yet. Now, I thought that the raw processing from Affinity was pretty good. It wasn't great. I didn't care for the way it renders the previews when you're making changes. But outside of that, it actually did a pretty decent job in terms of just making my raw file look good. And then the last option that I have here is the MacFun Luminar software, which is currently only available for Mac, but the Windows version is supposed to be released in the fall of 2017. So this is $69 a month currently. I don't know if that price will change with the addition of the organizer. That is equal to seven months of the Lightroom CC plan. I felt like the UI, the interface for editing was pretty decent. The processing though I felt was kind of annoying because you don't get your full set of tools like you did in basically all of these other pieces of software. Instead, you have to add each tool as a filter to the image. So every time you wanna add an adjustment, you have to click this plus filter, you gotta find the filter, then you can make the edits to it rather than opening a panel or scrolling to the panel that might be there. The raw results for me were decent, they were okay, the details were a bit soft, the colors I felt were pretty good. Now I've got a bonus, which is there are two raw processing and asset management pieces of software out there that are completely and 100% free open source 
software. One of them is called Dark Table, and the other one is called Raw Therapy. I don't have any footage for them. I have used them in the past. I think they're okay. Uh, some people really like them. For me, the problem with software like that is generally that it is not as refined as it can be. And when I say refined, I'm talking about two things. Number one, the raw processing results you get. And number two, the friction that these pieces of software create when you are trying to create a workflow and do the work. Very often the software gets in your way because of bad user interface design and bad menu selections and options and things like that. So uh, you can check those out. Links to all of these software options are in the description down below. And all of the software I talked about in this video offers you some sort of a free trial. So you can try any of them or all of them without having to pay anything and decide which one will work best for you. Like I said earlier, if I had to choose one, I would go with Capture One, but I plan to stay with Lightroom for now. I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic, but I also plan to experiment with Lightroom CC and see if I like it. I'm already on the photography plan, and then that means I get Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic, and I use Photoshop a lot, so I'm not planning to leave Adobe anytime soon. But with that, if you have any questions about raw processing or photography or anything else, let me know down in the description. And also, do me a favor, jump down there and tell me, are you planning to leave Adobe and find an alternative piece of software? Are you just scanning the field right now to see what's available, but you're going to stick with Lightroom for right now? Let me know down in the comments. And then do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you really like this video, please share it with your friends especially the ones who are looking for a Lightroom alternative. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there and take some damn photos. I'll see you on the next live show. A lot of photographers are looking for a turn of the a turn a turn a turn, a turn alternatives alternatives thanks for watching this video now if you're just learning about Lightroom or you're trying to take your editing skills to the next level I highly recommend you visit this link right here to check out my Lightroom video course in this course I'll take you through Lightroom step by step to show you what all of the different tools in Lightroom do and how to apply them to your image and I don't just show you how to use Lightroom, but how to take Lightroom and bend it to your will so that your photos look the way you want them to look when you're done. The bottom line is that Lightroom is a tool and you need to know how to use it to add it to your arsenal of photography tools. So if you want to learn how to use it, check out this link right here.